Welcome to Intermediate Algebra. This is Toby Slater Blair Crawford, which hereafter will just be Toby. Intermediate Algebra. And in this course, we start with chapter uh, three. Equations and inequalities in two variables and functions. Section 3.1, graphing linear equations with two unknowns. Two unknowns. Objectives for this section. First one is to graph a linear equation in two variables. Second one is to use x and y intercepts to graph a linear equation. Thirdly, graph vertical and horizontal lines. The rectangular coordinate system, uh, also known as the Cartesian coordinate system, after Rene Descartes, A rectangular coordinate system consists of a horizontal number line and a vertical number line. So you've got a horizontal, which is known as the x-axis, and a vertical numbered line, which is known as the y-axis. Of course, there are more numbers on it than just what you see. Uh, every real number, including every number between the tick marks, those are also in there. An ordered pair x, y, ordered. So it's ordered, x always comes first, y always comes second, represents a point uh, on the coordinate system. So for example, you have a point three, negative four. Three across to the right, Four down, because it's negative, means that x equals 3 and y equals negative 4. <clears throat> A linear equation in two variables is an equation that can, can be written in the form ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are real numbers but a and b are not both zero, can be written in that form. So for example, if you had y equals 2x minus 1, that would be considered linear because it could be written in ax plus by equals c form, even though it doesn't look like that right now. Another way of saying or defining linear equation in two variables is to say that the variables, the unknowns, x and y, are all only raised to the first power. Because if you have an x there, what's the power of x? Well, it's the first power of x. What is a solution? I ask students that, college algebra students. And they had a really hard time, most of them, answering that question. A solution, or a form, a form of the word is solve, is a form of solution. To a linear equation is an ordered pair, so an x, y, that makes the equation a true mathematical statement. Okay, so one problem we have is the is it a solution problem. And so they're giving us a possible solution. Notice it's an ordered pair, x, y. And is it a solution? Well, plug it in. We replace values for x and y in the equation to see if they obtain a true statement. Plug them in, 2 for x, 1 for y, 
you have to PEMDAS the left-hand side, so to do the multiplication first. 4 plus 1 equals 5, that's true. So the answer is yes. The ordered pair 2, 1 is a solution to the equation. Graph the equation. y equals negative x plus 3 by plotting points. So this time they're not telling you what x is. We're going to choose any value for x that we like and find the corresponding y value. So how about 1? One? 1's a good number. For x equals 1, plug it in. And what is the y that has to go with the x? Well, you put in 1 for x, and you have negative 1 plus 3. Let's see, negative 1 plus 3. If you owe a dollar, but then you get $3, then you can pay off your friend, and now you have $2. So when x is 1, y is 2. <clears throat> So 1, 2 is one of the solutions to this linear equation. And so that means that the point 1, 2, 1 across to the right, 2 up, that's going to be on the graph. Find three ordered pairs, that is solutions, to graph the line. So. It, one is not enough to graph a line. We're going to get three. You can make a table, which is really good to do. And so we've got the one, two already. We already, you know, figured that out. Got that one. If you put two in for x, you're going to come out with one for y. And if you put negative one in for x, you're going to come out with four or y. So the point 2, 1 is going to be there. The point negative 1, 4 is going to be there. We use 3 so that we can be sure that all the points are going to line up. And they look like they are lining up. We also notice that if you put 0 in for x, then y equals negative 0 plus 3. y equals 3 when x equals 0. So another point on the graph there is going to be 0, 3. And don't forget, a lot of times people do all this work. When they're told to graph, that's, that's what we're supposed to do is graph. They do all this work, and then they don't actually graph the line. So you got to make sure you actually graph the line. Thanks for watching.